heard about the size of that package. Joining us uh, with their respective views. Okay, we don't have Paul Ryan with us anymore? No, we just have Congressman, Congressman Crowley. Congressman Joseph Crowley, Democrat of New York. And it seems to us, Congressman Crowley, first of all, we welcome you. Thank you for joining us today, sir. Good to be with you. Thank you. It, 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 he's working awfully hard, even before the inauguration, to, uh, to sell this stimulus package here. Well, this is an emergency. I think people realize that there are millions of people who have lost their jobs or, or, or are poised to lose their jobs. And he's talking about creating new jobs, keeping people in their, in their jobs today, but creating new opportunities for new employment, both in the short term and the long term. You just heard him talking about wind turbines, uh, the green technology, and what the proposal here is to invest in research and development to make us number one. In, many, in much the same way that President Kennedy challenged the country in, in the early 1960s. He was criticized for it, you know, when he announced putting a man on the moon. Uh, he didn't live to see that, uh, but I think in our lifetime, we're gonna, we'll see the benefits of the focus on greening of America and the jobs and the growing ourselves out of this, uh, mm -hmm. this economic doldrums we're in right now. Congressman, though, uh, you know, the, the price tag uh, was a pretty stunning price tag to many people. And the question is whether on top of what we're doing with the TARP program, on top of all of the other money that's going into our economy in various ways in terms of bailouts, whether the price tag is too high. And I understand we do have Congressman Ryan with us. Congressman, your reaction? Are you as kerfuffled as Thank your you, leader Boehner is? Setting my IFP up. Oh, he's not quite Can you there. Say that again, please. Uh, Congressman Ryan, uh, no. are you as Look. stunned as some of your other colleagues were yesterday at the price tag on this particular package? Mm -hmm. We knew the price tag was going to be in this ballpark. What we're stunned about is what's in this package. This doesn't read like an economic growth package. This reads like another appropriations bill. I mean, literally, this is just a long spending wish list from every spending interest group that's out there. I mean, even if you were a committed Keynesian, there's not much of that stuff give in it, here. Give us All an example. Sort of investment infrastructure. Give us an example, Congressman well, Ryan, of what you take issue with. $600 million to buy new cars for federal workers, $650 million for new converter boxes for digital television, a $1 billion for the census, $50 million for the National Endowment of the Arts. Congressman and Crowley, is this a Christmas tree or is this a stimulus stuff? package? There are no, there are no, read my lips, there are no congressional earmarks in this bill, and, and, uh, and Paul Ryan knows that. Uh, this, is, this is about stimulating our economy. Look, we all knew that this was going to be a big number. Was the $700 billion uh, uh, st rescue package a big number? Of course it was. This is $125 billion more. Well, the, in the, the first thing that stuck out to me was the, the cars for the government workers. Is that mm -hmm. stimulus or is well, that... I think, I think that's, you know, they're also talking about green cars and green uh, technology here as well. We're not just talking about doing this for the purposes of, 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 uh, of getting new cars. For, for government workers. We're, we're, we're here to help the economy, and that includes getting cars that are made here in the United States by GM, by Ford, by Chrysler, and, to help those auto workers and as well. And Congressman Ryan, it's, it strikes me that one person's pork is going to be another person's stimulus. I mean, by its very definition, That's right. the money spent to stimulate the economy could be perceived to be an appropriations bill anyway, right? Well, sure. There's maybe no member of Congress has their name attached to each spending provision, but it's still a bunch of big spending provisions. The infrastructure stuff is about $128 billion. Well, that, but that's the whole uh, idea, Paul. Keynesian investment. Paul, the but whole idea is to spend to get people back their the, jobs, the jobs it, they've lost. Joe, that's the whole focus here. It's more of this, if I could just finish, Joe, it's more of the same kind of spending we already do in the government today to the tune of $3 trillion a year, yet we're still in recession. And the rebates, you know, we're talking about two years of rebates that are about 10 bucks a week for an individual, 20 bucks a week for a couples. Okay. These are the, not the kinds of things that are going to grow the economy. And our fear is, if you're going to increase the deficit by this much, if you're going to go out and borrow $825 so billion, recraft it for me, Congressman this Ryan. is recraft not going it. to work, and that's what our concern is. Recraft it for me. Well, How we, would you put it together? That's what we intend to do. We're going to recraft it. We're going to bring, inve we're going to bring amendments to the Ways and Means Committee. We're hmm. I think... I think we lost our feed, unfortunately. Really? Both of them all at I once. I think both of them all at no. once. No, there's... Technology can yeah, be your Crowley. friend or not your Congressman friend. Congressman Crowley, Crowley, are you there? Yes, I am. It sounds well, like you're going to have a fight on your hands if, yeah. if they're going to well, be bringing amendments here. You huh? know, I, I would just point out that Paul Ryan was responsible in the last Congress, supported the $700 billion bailout uh, rescue package as I did. I hope he'll be responsible and his colleagues will be as well during this emergency to continue this. Uh, a new president, it's a new beginning for America. Let's work together. It is an emergency. It's not regular order, I understand that, but we're doing what's in the best interest of the people, okay. and that's getting people back to work. Thank you, Congressman. Appreciate Thank you. it very Thank much. You.